Mm. Hello, my name is Matthew Simon, and thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to look at my senior capstone project. Today, I will be going over with you transporting different resources to financially rebuild the economy. But before we begin, I would first like to introduce myself. I am a graduating senior at PD Math, Science, and Technology Academy. I am also a dual enrollment student at Central Carolina Technical College. My plans after high school is to continue going to CCTC to complete my civil engineering degree. I enjoy playing the piano, playing video games, and spending time with family. So at the beginning of our school year, our senior class was assigned the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals, and we had to basically choose a goal to do research and our own project on ourselves. And I chose goal number nine, which was to build resilient infrastructure, promote inclusive and sustainable industrialization, and foster innovation. And the reason that I chose goal number nine was to help lower scale industries recover financially and become more sustainable so that it'll help them last more longer. One major fact that I would like to share is that 15.7% of small scale industries in Africa and 44.2% in Latin America and the Caribbean receive forms of credit. This topic is kind of important to me because the, the growth of new industries means improvement in the standard of living for many of us. And, and I found out that it could not just help us in the US, but it could help people across the world as well. So some facts that I have found from my research was that 15.7% of small scale industries in Africa and 44.2% in Latin America and the Caribbean receive forms of credit. 87% of people in developed countries like the US and other sustainable countries use internet compared to only 19% in least developed countries. For example, third world countries around the world. And while the amount of basic research has stagnated over the 20 year period between 1990 and 2010, industry spending on development activities have grown steadily. So, so these facts led me to make these research questions. How can we bring technological and technical support to other countries like those third world countries who don't have the resources? And how can we grant more access to smaller industries to recover financially? And, and from our research, I found that we can find a way to bring technological and technical advances by transporting different types of energies to those worlds, like, for example, solar energy, nuclear energy, wind energy, and other types of renewable resources that we could transport over to those third world countries that don't have them. And we do not only need to transport them, but we need to find ways to transport them in a safe and efficient way. And for helping smaller industries be able to recover financially, we can grant access to the low level industries to recover financially by funding them money and giving them the supplies that they need in order to function properly. And, and what I mean by giving them the supplies and funding them money, I mean like giving them resources like they might need like water and stuff like that. 
we can also establish standards and promote regulations that will ensure company projects and initiatives are sustainably managed. And that is going to conclude my senior capstone presentation for today. I would like to thank you for watching this. I, I hope that you were able to take something away from this. And if you could, will you please fill out the survey that I will attach in the email? If, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can send me an email. My email, email address is right there at msimon at pdmsca.org. So, yeah. So, anyways, um, Mm, thank you for watching my presentation. Um, I hope you have a great morning or afternoon. And, and, and thanks again for taking time out of your busy schedule to, to take a look at my presentation. And thank you.